with Christmas in the air, I can't help but go back to school, man. There was just something so fun about that time. But do you guys remember that India was obsessed with convents? Was it really worth it? What was happening behind those convent gates? Let's find out in this week's episode of Padaku Panda. And since you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to our Christmas special. Uh, as you can see, we are all decked up for it. <laughs> but By decked up, you mean these fun hats. And that's all. Yeah, that's the end of the decoration. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so today we decided to like embark on this journey together. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically a good, uh, you know, a good insight into like our relationship because we're not just panda mates <laughs> in this Padaku Panda Pandemic club. Pandemic panda mates. Yeah, we are not just pandemic panda mates. We are uh, actually been like we've been friends since we were chotu chotu. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were in the same school and that's how we met. And if you're wondering why does all this relate to the Christmas special, it's because we were in a convent school. <laughs> and so automatically, whether you care or not, you care about Christmas. So Kancha, what is a convent school? Okay. <laughs> uh, a convent school, I guess, is a school that was started by uh, missionary nuns. Okay. Right? Like, okay. But tell me something, is there something like a different name for like Catholic uh, convent schools and like No, I don't think so. Unless like a school wants to declare that they are a Catholic school, they'll put in their name. Okay. But I think there's also that saint business. Here's the thing. I went from a school called Saint Mary School <laughs> to a school called Delhi Public School. Right? And I feel like even though we are here to talk about the time that we spent in yeah. St. Mary School, I should let you know that nothing defines my time in St. Mary School as much as the fact that I had culture shock when I went to <laughs> Delhi Public School. <laughs> like, I went there and we were singing uh, Itni Shakti Hame De Nadata in like uh, the uh, school assemblies. And I was like, so used to saying Our Father in Heaven that it blew my mind. I was like, yes, of course. They're yeah. probably not going to sing that. <laughs> yeah, because it's a public school. <laughs> and so, basically, my whole thing was completely different. So, I went from six to seven different army schools and civilian schools to then coming to St. Mary's. And I also had a culture shock when I joined St. Mary's. Yeah, in the seventh <laughs> standard. I was like... <gasps> They don't sing national anthem every day. We used to not sing the national anthem every day. Yeah, it was special, okay. And only only on Republic Day parade. Uh, not parade also, sports day. Pata nahi kya chal raha tha. Just to show the parents ki bache jante hai national anthem. Ha, correct. And someone used to get chosen to say the pledge. Oof. People didn't know the pledge. And I came from army school, where if you didn't know the pledge, you'd get one slap in the assembly only. Hey, if you're not chosen, why you need to know the pledge? I don't understand. See, this is very simple logic. If you're not chosen to say the pledge on sports day, why you need to know pledge? Someone is saying, no? <laughs> Dude, it was super weird. So, like, for me to come from, like, army schools or even, like, a KV or whatever. Yeah, honestly, it blows my mind that she has gone to so many schools because <laughs> I have been in one school for 13 years. <laughs> from when I was 3 <laughs> to when I was 15, I was in one school. <laughs> and when I joined said school at the age of 13, <laughs> like, 7th yeah, standard, wild. I was, like, looking around at these girls and that was my first, like, girl school. My mom put me in a girl school because she was like, you're too much of a tomboy. Hi, hi. So she's that like, didn't help, by the way. Yeah, she just I, found other people who are like her. I just found more tomboys. So um, she was like, you learn how to be a girl. That did not work out. So their thought failed anyway. My mom's project, Akansha. I don't know what <laughs> it was. But uh, that was the reasoning. And when I went there, I looked around at these girls. I was like, there are a lot of things here that are not normal. <laughs> and they were like, no, this is how the world works. <laughs> I was like, it really isn't though. <laughs> <laughs> in St. Mary's, like being a girl and what it meant to be a girl was like such an important aspect because it was a girl's school. Right. And, and that you hadn't faced before. Yeah, never before because um, I was uh, an army kid, so I've traveled around with my dad wherever he got posted. So that's why I had been to like six to seven schools before I came to St. Mary's. And like my parents settled in Pune for education only. They were like, you know, my brother was in like a senior, like 11, 12th. And my mom wanted me to have like a set education in my senior years. So she was like, let's not move around now. 
and i genuinely think that uh, being in those schools made like kids like more rough and tough is like a very vague way to say it but like you just took more risk because it was a mixed uh, you know big bundle of kids not just mixed in terms of gender like boys and girls also social strata like everyone was from everywhere like jawans kids officers kids whatever and even the civilians who lived in that area so it was a nice good mix and so we did a lot of rough housing which you know the maize girls had never heard of like lal batti and stuff like that mm. and but yet my most dangerous incident was in st mary's where <coughs> someone i was very close to was so excited to see me she grabbed me by the hand and swung me around and i whipped lash against the door she literally yeah she literally okay so i was watching this <laughs> unfold right and uh, oh, basically okay. she got swung into the door and she got swung into like the frame of the door so she literally <laughs> boinged off it <laughs> And there was a moment where she was just holding her head and she was like okay I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine right but no she was not fine she had a concussion I had to be sent home she had a full fledged concussion <laughs> and I remember this also ki no one was at her house so Anurag had to come and pick her up and I I I we had to call okay here's the thing why we were thinking that Mary's had if you wanted to call home you had to pay 4 rupees and go to the principal and go to the principal's that uh, oh, that uh, assistant to whoever sits there oh, a receptionist oh, shakira her name was are you dude we had a very weird school anyway shakira ke paas jaane ka we had to we we have to put our name on a credit list ki credit pe phone kar rahe oh my then we could call home so that's we went we went there we called uh, apparently and ultimately we had to call anurag so anurag came we had to Yeah. Literally make sure that Akansha could sit on the bike, <laughs> and she wasn't going to fall off. And Anna was like, "What happened?" I was like, "Yo, <laughs> man, <laughs> life's dangerous. No fucking idea." Teenage But girls can this, be yeah, dangerous. dude, what the hell? Anyway, so this is just to show you that <coughs> even though we didn't have much rough housing mm. in Mary's per se, I feel like we did a lot of weird things there. <laughs> For sure, it's what I think was happening in our school, though. I feel like because we didn't have boys in our school, yeah. there were a bunch of tomboy girls who took their place <laughs> in the whole realm of society, Got right? It. The society that had been created in Mary's. Mm. There was a bunch of girls who were like, "We will be the boys in this society." For sure. When we were in school, I know things have changed since then because my siblings were also in Mary's, and uh, things have changed. Even they changed for them also. So. they used to put us all in different divisions based on how many marks you got so all Dude. the people with good marks used to be in the same class so that they would compete with compete each other with and try to get better and all the other bad marks children and by the way by marks they do not mean total percentage because say if you are really good in history geography uh, i don't know environmental science and your percentage is still in like the 70s 80s it doesn't matter these marks were only science and maths if you did well in science and maths you were in the smart sections if you did badly you were in the average and the below average section and this was common knowledge imagine doing that to children everyone just lived with that dude like i feel like so weirded out right now currently oh like after years God. of hard this uh currently i'm just like that was very strange and i was there telling them that time that it was strange and nobody believed me <laughs> so, like aisa hi hota i was like this is so wrong so basically the society had developed these girls <laughs> <laughs> to think that this was normal it wasn't and honestly chalo theek hai you know i told you guys that i have spent 13 years in the school mm. i did not think that it was weird mm. i thought it was wrong it mm. was definitely wrong like i yeah. knew even then that mm. this was not cool like you shouldn't <laughs> make people feel bad about it once like that science and maths marks clearly you can tell i was not one of the science and maths children okay hey, why, why is that so clear Because you I'm could so, have fooled um, them. Because I'm so uh, incensed by it. <laughs> so incensed. <laughs> the fact that nothing else matters, dude. It was the only school that I have been in that would not let me participate in extracurricular uh, activities because I did not get good science and maths marks. And I'm like, they are called extracurricular. I forgot activities. about this actually. 
Dude. You were not allowed to participate in debate. So na? yeah, basically, what they used to do is they used to make the announcements for the competitions only in the smart classes. And uh, I used to still sometimes come like turn up because she was in the smart class and she would be like, "Clearly, Go, by the, way. the most privileged uh, <laughs> I have been in my entire life." <laughs> And she used to come in and she's like, dude, by the way, a uh, debate announcement happened if you are in. And I was like, fuck, you didn't tell that also leave. Like, can I second class citizen treatment? <laughs> and then I used to go and stand in front of the teacher and be like, why I can't take part? Why? And the teachers honestly had no answer to this because they were also a part of this system. Yeah. So I think the fun thing about our convent school was that it functioned like this on a daily basis and it was extremely okay. Yeah. Everything in our school was super outdated. Like um, Akansha's mom has actually been a teacher in our school, yeah. and so has mine. Like my my mom t- taught in the boys section. Oh, we have, we have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so before I get to that, let me finish this point. <laughs> so Akansha's mom was a teacher in in yeah. Mary's, but and she told essentially used to complain about this all the time that oh. we had like. The most outdated printing system. It was co- cyclo style. Even I will have to Google it to explain it to you. Like it's so outdated. And the only, honestly, the only reason we still had that was because it was in the school. Yeah. And nobody had the balls to say that we we shouldn't have we it should anymore. Maybe get a printer to print out things instead of a cyclo style machine. And my mom was a This is the best teacher. school in Pune, by the way. Yeah. Also, like, it has a reputation for getting the ICSC topper in India. Yeah. Almost every year. It also has four to five sections of each class, which has 40 children each. So, there is fees coming in. It's not like it's a garib school. Haan, I mean, honestly, you know? chal, when we were in school, the fees was not that much. Mm-hmm. But it has increased over time. Haan, but and I hope they've got printers now. I, I, I don't know. I'm fucking no. I'm still think, cyclo styling the whole thing. I, I do think that my siblings' ka papers look different. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's just she was, My mom was a biology teacher. And my mom was so used to, even in the smallest of towns. Like, I was once in army school, Junglot. Junglot is like a small little town in Jammu. Mm. Even that army school Junglot had a functional biology lab, which had like equipment for kids to do biology stuff. Did we have a bio lab? It was one skeleton inside the chemistry lab. Oh, that was the bio lab, is it? <laughs> I See, I didn't... And we never went to chem lab. We never went to bio lab. We never went and did any physics experiments. Hey, that's because if you had to go there, you had to wade through the all the cobwebs and you had to like clean the table if you want to write something. Once we went and burnt a magnesium ribbon and came back. <laughs> like that's just to show that hair lab. And my mom was so infuriated by this. She was like, how are kids going to be interested in these things if you don't let them work with them? And I'm very, I 100% agree with her. I'm like, what is that? Honestly, I think the funnest thing about the chem lab was the bio lab. <laughs> because we used to go there and everyone used to be like, did you know Ooh, that this is a skeleton of a girl who died? Aray, there was there was just one bichara skeleton and how many stories are there? There this girl and they donated the body and like, how much? So a lot of people literally have, like our complaints about Mary's were different. But their complaint was this, that they focused so much on this English stuff that leaving it and functioning the actual world where you need to interact with everybody, it was literally a like a, something that kept them back, like it pulled them back. Oh, so people didn't do well because of that. Yeah, well in the sense that they could just never adjust. Uh, but I've heard this from so many Mary's girls saying that we used to be so proud of it. Like in Mary's that, oh, we only speak in English and like whatever other school kids, they have bad English. But the fact that they literally didn't give a flying fuck, the schools did not care at all about teaching Hindi or the local language. It affected the kids ahead. Like I, I know how poor the Marathi curriculum was and how badly they treated it because I studied it only for one year because I joined school late. And I passed everything. Marathi used to happen before the language test, which already happened before the exams. Yeah. Right? So it was literally like a class test darja. Hmm. And the Marathi teacher was given zero respect by other teachers also and other students also. Like no respect. Because also the Marathi marks were not counted in your final aggregate. Yeah. Literally nobody gave a fuck. And this, you know, it should insult people. 
people used to you not show up for marathi exams by the way yeah. they used to just be like nahi karne aaye mere ko and they used to not show up and, and that it used to be fine horrible. they used to get a like a little hyphen where the marathi uh, grade was <laughs> and they would the pass there you and i'm like why would you not care at all i understand it's a national board and you know why they included marathi in the curriculum right because uh-huh. shiv sena made it compulsory for all schools in pune to teach marathi and so that's the way they decided to do it because they they didn't have it before so half they, they did not board. they did not care about it honestly it's just so it was so frustrating like later on and i was thinking about i'm like how could i have passed right like clearly the curriculum was crap if i joined on year 8 and i was like yes i i understand like the go 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 of this because it was same same exactly and i used to get marks by copying the question down in the answer cup list <laughs> But most of the questions were like that. You just had to add one word, like "kutla color hota," you know, and then like "nira hota." But the same thing was same. Like, but this "nira" thing reminds me. See the extent of competition in fifth standard. ठीक है. There was one girl in my class who grabbed my Marathi paper, took it to the teacher, and said, "You've given her right. It's chota e for nira. I have written bada e for nira, and in the book it's written as nira." Whoa. That too for something that didn't matter. मेरा पेपर लिखे गए वो कि इसके मार्क काटो. That is stupid. When she took my paper, I didn't even know what she was doing. But I remember in my army schools, there used to be one day where everyone used to bring a dumba from their home, hmm. and it used to be like a big potluck. Hmm. And because we all belong to different places, it used to be a very interesting thing. Like. It was super fun. You know what this reminds me of? Our home science thing. Yeah. <laughs> we had home science as a fucking subject. The only yeah, thing because that I took dogs. away from that subject was that uh, uh, blood stains. How do we get out of the clothes? Even in the office. Bubble gum. How do we get out of the clothes? That we had an entire chapter about it at the about end of our book. About textiles and clothes. About textiles and clothes. And there was literally a table in that chapter, and it was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It then was do the this. exam. The question was this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like bubble gum. Put this, then do this. It was like Much more. We used to get tested on it also, so, and literally the only thing I t- took away from home science. But there was this one day where we had to cook food and get to school, <laughs> and nobody ever cooked oh, it. Like each line was given like, "Acha, tum log mugalai food food banao." It was a. a tum log dessert banao. It's all lies. Basically, there are different lines. Copper of chalks that dabba rehta tha under table. <laughs> और उसके ऊपर वहां पे केक था मैंने बनाया मैम मैंने बनाया मैम नहीं सॉरी मिस ओह डूड हुज बिलीव यू डूड लाइक इवन द टीचर्स बट आई डोंट हैव टू से लाइक लुक एट द सेक्सिज ऑफ इन आवर स्कूल द इट्स चेंज दैट आल्सो चेंज द गर्ल सेक्शन हैड होम साइंस एज अ एज अ सब्जेक्ट एंड इट वाज एन एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट एंड द बॉय सेक्शन हैड आईटी No, they had computer science. Computer That's what science, yeah, I remember. And because girls' ka home science is obviously more important, na, because you have to manage your home once you gra- was once that, you study and give your horrible exams. Third chapter and so in that book was layout and planning of kitchens. How do you remember the chapter now? Dude, the, okay, because it was so irritating. Okay, we used to, to be taught what is an open kitchen, what is a closed kitchen, what is this, how does this layout help, how does that layout help. Then there was three, four chapters. One chapter was how to bring up toddlers. One chapter was how to uh, take care of adolescents. One chapter was how to take care of old people. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> And agar main okay, I learned. Why is the boy section not learning this? Don't they have to take care of toddlers? Excuse me. <laughs> Don't they shouldn't they know? Aaj se bacha bana ke chale gaye. Nonsense. Very angry now. I hope. I think this made me more mad than that Nira thing. <laughs> Um, also, I think this rigid discipline and stuff that we had going in our school, which is, I think, but obviously we don't even need to spell it out. That we had to be like they were super strict about a bunch of things. Uh, I feel like it pushed people to the threshold. Maybe. Like I think the people who were not disciplined were pushed by this discipline only to that threshold. That <laughs> now I'm gonna do a jump. Right. Do a jump. Hai. It had gone to that extent that you know we had reached that thing where uh, physics teacher का बाल काटेगा पीछे से and things like that. Dude, so, so like, uh, if you so boys are bad. Uh, like if, ask any teacher who's teacher all boys school like eight standard boys, nine standard boys. They're a tough crowd. It's hard to gain their respect, hard to keep them quiet. 
but girls are mean dude like some I feel like if boys can hurt you physically girls can hurt you mentally and i think that is a very good summary of saint mary school aur ye shorts and bloomers ka to alag chakkar tha under when for we had to wear shorts or bloomers what do you prefer Uh, no no i think bloomers we had in prep school okay ha huh. so till third standard we were in prep school fourth to tenth was high school tenth those were middle school no no middle school tha hi nahi middle no, school right. is for everyone's bloomers. high school matlab a fourth standard child is in high school yeah yeah nice so, so i'm uh, learning these things about my school today <laughs> so till till third standard you had to wear bloomers the definition of bloomers is a that chandi. you have ha huh, a puffy chaddi there is elastic at the bottom also <laughs> <laughs> Then when you go to high school, it changes to shorts because everybody becomes fat, you know. Oh no! And they used to check for this. You had to lift your pinafore and show them your chest. So much so for being a lady, everyone was fucking flashing monitors all the time. <laughs> माइक ड्रॉप मोमेंट Listen, there's been so much speculation about who you guys are. Are see, honestly, now we didn't want to keep it a secret, but people became violent about it. <laughs> like people were like, "Which batch are you from? Stop running this page!" Oh, Because sh- they had like another page that they were trying to run. Hey, if you have a Mary's meme page that's not doing well, that's your fault. And wh- <laughs> dude, we are just having a good time, okay? <laughs> And don't get out of here, you Gen Z hey, people. Well, it's a brilliant page, okay? Everybody, whether if you have been to any convent school, especially if you're a girl, check out that page. Even if you're not a girl, it's funny. But if you are, it's even funnier. <laughs> so, like um, that m- meme page had gotten so many suggestions that you should make stuff about bullying. Mm. And I feel like that's actually very poignant. in this very weird situation because the moment you put like 20000 girls together hmm. there is going to be an ample amount of that and i think the kids i don't think it's a girl issue like no I it's feel, worse with girls trust me I because feel, i feel like girls have that ability to hold grudges hmm. and push it to the limit hmm. and I'm, i mean, I mean obviously if you are a boy and you have the ability to hold grudges go ahead i mean prove me wrong but i feel like it's just a children thing like in a sex- literally it's like literally a uh, you know a section of society that has no leaders like so to speak there's a teacher that you listen to or whatever in that space i think it grows bullies hmm. like whether you're like boys or girls it just does grow bullies right. how how you do the bullying differs probably by gender maybe but bullies yeah. exist i feel across the board because even in my other schools bullies were very much there hmm. only how they behaved was different i'll hmm. give you that yeah because i feel like passive aggression was rampant in the bullying in mary's for sure we had a boy section because like we we were majority girl school mm-hmm. but i remember this because i was in mary's like from the beginning of my school life almost mm. so when we were in lower kg upper kg mm. that time we don't call it upper kg in mary's by the way we call it preparatory oh, but uh, so when i was in prep <laughs> okay that time uh, we had boys in our class <gasps> yeah Cute my guys. drop right <laughs> but we had boys in our class for one year yeah. and uh, we had even had that thing where they tried to make a girl sit next to a boy and all that and the boy who was on my table his name was samit oh but uh, anyway so these people were though moved to the boys section uh, when we went to first standard So, so when they ha so when they were yes. in no one year okay. when they were in our class that time the boy section was being constructed or whatever okay so they moved all these people to uh, the boy section and since then Mary's has been separated by into a, a girls and a boy section by a fence which is like very well known as the green fence very legendary fence between these girl and boy section yeah. and why i got here from the bullying part was that if you weren't interested in going 
to the fence and trying to stalk boys and, and look at also. them and get whatever stalked. yeah you you used to get bullied for that also yeah I, this is very weird i feel like the whole uh, reason why my mom put me in a convent besides ladki bano ja ke is also Not because she is. genuinely believe that convents provide a better education because there is an army school in pune and it's a very good school a very well reputed school so many people but from she, marys go to army school yeah. after uh, 10th so but she wanted me to go to a convent because she went to a convent when she grew up and she thought it added a lot to her life but you know what i feel like this convent thing is very this you know i went to a convent it was good for me you should also go to convent mm. is very common because i know so many people yeah. whose mothers were in mary's only mm. like they have been like mary's kids and mary's lady yeah so that household is mary's you know yeah i think that happens a lot in india in general where you know because first of all india has this misconception in general ki uh, english is english aata hai to you are better and where do they teach the i mean english? i understand where that is coming from it's not like we are not acknowledging that yeah. but honestly from yours and yours of fucking yeah white people <laughs> and the fact that you know if you if you want to be relevant in the world you have to know english mm-hmm. like that's about what yeah. it is but uh, of course we can't look down on anything yeah. else so, and it's just something that convents do without better. thinking so for example my mom went to nasa different story i'll get back to it some other day when my mom went to nasa you can't just drop a bomb like that <laughs> what the fuck anyway uh, huh? uh, like two three women so she was in the houston texas wala uh, nasa place i will ask her the details <laughs> later um campus is the word i was looking for mm. anyway uh, there were a bunch of ladies there who were like oh my god you're from india your english is very good because it was better than theirs cuz they are from texas okay so <laughs> I was basically convent ka english better than american english so my mom was like excuse me and she told them this she like i was taught by irish nuns and look at that confidence level you're like i was taught by irish nuns in my convent school right like she's just being like please refraff <laughs> <laughs> no but see in a convent do yeah. give you that kind of confidence though like yeah. to be to say something good about them also yeah. they are providing that kind of oh, education sure. so they are for all the uh, griping that we've been doing those are all i feel like administrative things like that should have been done differently don't segregate children according to marks and like and they've already incorporated that, yeah, to be but fair as a as an education system in terms of ki how well you studied your curriculum i think uh, convent schools do a very good job mm. there's a reason why doon school uh, sanar all these uh, you know uh, convent schools have such a crazy good reputation because they have the best teachers and they provide a really good education and the interesting fact is we are not the only ones who notice this so schools apparently all over india particularly in the north just attach convent to their name because they want to jump on this bandwagon of convent is better and i found the funnest example of this it's called alpine convent school mm. it is not in a mountain mm. it is not a convent <laughs> it is a school chalo wo that part they got right and the owner was literally they did this because she was like i noticed that all these schools that are in the hills do really well so she called it alpine convent school is it working well uh-huh. uh, i mean got set up very we'd have to do follow up research on this <laughs> i don't know it's cool i want to know if this marketing gimmick worked <laughs> dude it's like basically for what was for our parents a convent school like convent naam dekha to bachcha idhar enroll karna chahiye for us now like for our generation i'm sure that's international schools oh yeah ib like, schools are a big thing here people now people from our generation who have kids or like say a few years older than us who have like little kids they are 100% looking at ib like that's the best quality of education and the buzzword for us was convent ha uh-huh. ha like yeah. at that time but where parents were like this is the best that we can give <coughs> firstly i already told you the delhi public school was wild two <laughs> years of absolute random nonsense happening in my life like firstly I realized yeah, वो तो है ही मतलब assembly was absolutely batshit crazy I was like there's no way <laughs> then after that also the fact that I suddenly had boys in my class mm-hmm. I realized how much I do not like that <laughs> after that I went to a college called 
भारती कला प्रसरणी सभेचा वास्तुविद्या महाविद्यालय राईट देर आय डिड माय आर्किटेक्चर अँड दॅट वॉज आ स्कूल विच प्रॉमिनेंटली स्पोक इन मराठी अँड इट वॉज मतलब इफ मेरीज इज द नॉर्थ पोल देन दिस वास्तुविद्या महाविद्यालय वॉज नॉट इवन द साऊथ पोल इट वॉज समवेअर इन द ओझोन लेअर अबाउट द साऊथ पोल लाईक देर इज नो कनेक्शन बिटवीन दीज टू प्लेसेस and i i was told suddenly that i was not allowed to wear shorts to college and things like that you were a bad girl i was the baddest bitch in vastu vidya mahavidyalaya <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> it's a very low bar <laughs> to be bad <laughs> but what do you think was your biggest takeaway from being in so many schools like do you think what in what way has it helped you in what way has it not disadvantage or not hmm. um so i feel like uh, being in so many schools out of it some are convent some are army some are not and then coming to mary's the biggest advantage that it gave me is that i could uh, adjust to any situation right right okay. like i had learned the skill of getting into a crowd and just being comfortable there irrespective of the response i got from them mm-hmm. which i think was the biggest boon i got from traveling and what i feel like i lost is not like a convent school thing or anything i think it's just you know when you're in one school in one place for 13 years like you were the connections that you build are very strong right like you know everyone who was in our batch you know 120 girls mm-hmm. right and i can't even remember the faces of more than 20 because that's how it's been for me like it's just like a passing train right um so making connections that last like that does help you like when you like get into the workforce and you know you you have that whole nexus that works for you mm-hmm. i feel like that's the only disadvantage i would say mm. but yeah because i can't imagine that it was a major disadvantage because that also yeah. kind of depends on what you are as a person and considering True. you went to so many schools you already had gotten used uh, to making friends every time yeah and uh, so just like how you basically were taken down to earth like from mary's you went to like uh, dps and then i can't even say the name of your college bkps bkps um for me it's like my snob value in terms of uh, education just went higher and higher i went from mary's uh, to bishops and then i went to symbiosis which is also considered pretty snobby <clears throat> and then i went to like asian college of german journalism which is like full snob you're like a lefty snob dude like it's, oh my god full like i think i can give it to you in writing that everyone who came there was at least partially insufferable <laughs> like already when they came there sweet so um but was it like being in mary's again or was it different Interestingly enough the reason why it felt like Mary's is very different so how Mary's I felt like oh everyone has their click and uh, where do I fit I felt the exact same thing in ACJ but for a completely different reason there everyone had their geographical click Oh. like all the bengalis hung out together and all the uh, malayali uh, kids hung that's out together that's very weird because i don't know if that's like a acj thing or a post grad thing i think it's a post grad thing because yeah. i've heard this from more people hmm. so and basically like everyone from telangana and andhra were like separate but you know but like together. together but it was like a very clear distinction everyone speaking in their it just know, that tones. clicks were different but it was like a it larger was, broader marys yeah, it, right in terms of how you would feel like oh where do i go <laughs> where are my puniites at and the uh, pure people were the worst i tell you because they were so desperate to get in with the bombay people i'm like idhar bhi aake tumko yahi karna hai that was the last thing i expected what the hell have some shame and dignity i know have and be proud that you are from pune what is this please bombay i'm your friend so uh, what do you think apart from the fact that uh, everyone was a girl <laughs> what's the biggest <laughs> difference between like um so firstly like okay, wait, for, for for context which school were you in before marys just before marys right before marys i was in army school junglot like okay. the gaon ka chotu sa school which Sweet. i love <laughs> so much oh dude uh, i used to like it's going to sound like a malgudi days episode but i'm going to give you an outline of my day in junglot uh it's a cycle to school and in school you like on the way there used to be like orchards and sometimes me and my friends would get down from the bike and break fruits like people do in stories <laughs> 
And Damn, that sounds wild. Yeah, exactly. And uh, then we used to like read school, school day, full masti. And then while coming back, uh, sometimes I had to go and study at one of my friend's house, and he legit had two cows who he used to like graze in his free time. And I remember uh, that literally sitting in his, uh, you know, like farm, and like he was sitting on his cow, and we were just like talking about a, a assignment, like a debate or something. Like it's this so life so- sounds like a TV show to me. Exactly, it sounds like Malgudi days, and I had that life. And then um, we used to literally there was a, a river bed that was seasonal, right next to where our school was and our home was. and so it was just full of pebbles right we used to go down into the river bed collect pebbles and play with them yeah, and right, fly right. kites <laughs> it was so idyllic but i'll tell you what is not idyllic uh, much later i found out that two terrorists were found in that river bed hiding so my part was very idyllic my mom was stressed as fuck <laughs> so during the whole time that Get she was yeah i <laughs> Did not see that coming, did you? Yeah. So but, I was also like, "Jammu." But it still nice sounds time. like a TV show. Yeah. It's still a TV show. Wow. Because <laughs> I was all like, "Jammu," such a fun time, and mom was like, "Not really for me, though." That's all your mother remembers. Yes. Like, mother, like, remember there were those two terrorists in that fucking river bed <laughs> where you used to go oh, and collect stones. India went to war almost when we were there, dude. Like, op parakram happened. Then dad was on the front, and I was like, "Wow, there's a bunker in my house." This is so cool. Meanwhile, <laughs> when all this was happening, I was uh, going to assembly in the morning at seven thirty, and then I was getting punished because I was chewing gum. Oh sh! <laughs> so Girl. basically, it's it's very different. I guess everyone's angle is a little different. And grass is greener, so it's better. Yeah, and considering how we are today, and we kind of get along with everyone, I think uh, yeah. we turned out quite okay. So. At the end of the day, obviously, it depends on the individual that you are. Hmm. If you're annoying, the chances of people being annoyed with you are higher. Dude, you know what? <laughs> Out of this whole thing, I feel like I'm just mad that we never had a Christmas party. Dude, it pissed me off so much, and it was during like literally. Uh, I'm like, we didn't have any parties. Why? But even 15, 20 days of holidays. Holidays are not, not a party. The, it's not the same. When you are a child, when you are a 13 year old kid. At that point, holidays are more important. You yeah, we got a party and holidays both. See, look at this show. No, off. dude. You made it to the end of the podcast. That is awesome. Because yeah, that's a that's a long, long ass podcast. But that's what we do at uh, Padaku Panda. We aim for those uh, 15, 20 second TikTok freaking weird ass people. We are here for you. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. So now since uh, you made it, and if you really like this content, which I hope you do, because you're here, uh, please hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. That is yeah, I'm <laughs> somewhere here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. So yeah, so we also have like an audio version, which is great. But you know, this is where the real OGs are at. Yeah. So yeah, man. Thank you, and I'm glad you're here. And uh, if you're still hanging out here, I'm uh, surprised. Uh, please But, subscribe. Okay. Now, uh, and uh, if you're already subscribed, uh, share it with your friends. Be like, hey, look at this cool thing I found. That makes me super cool because you don't know about it. जो तुझे नहीं पता, जो तुझे नहीं पता, I don't, I don't have a follow for that. Please stop. I am the one who's going to edit. <laughs>